Vikings were surrounded and outnumbered, and, and they were going to be killed the next day. And they ate a whole bunch of Amanita muscaria and a big, a big soup. Amanita muscaria and the legend of the berserkers. The year was circa 900 AD. It was a cold, dark night in a quiet Scandinavian village. At this moment, the village was mostly women, children, and elderly. There were only a handful of Viking warriors left behind, as the majority of Viking warriors were on a voyage. Well, this happened to leave this quiet village quite vulnerable to being raided. You see, the term Viking is a loose term that can apply to multiple ethnicities of people, including Norwegians, Swedes, and Danes. So it wasn't uncommon for one Scandinavian village to get raided by another, which is exactly what a group of northern Vikings had in mind. This quiet village was about to be in for a rude awakening, as the watchmen stationed miles outside of the village approached closer to give warning. These northmen would make contact with the village close to dawn, so the small group of Vikings and the village people only had a short time to prepare for the onslaught headed their way. As the people of the village took refuge, some fled to the forest while others found hiding places. Meanwhile, the few Viking warriors knew that their village would soon be surrounded and outnumbered. While these warriors stood together, they commenced to thinking. But at this moment, they weren't thinking about their families or their homes. They knew they'd never see their home again. They weren't thinking about their lives neither because they knew that was long gone. The only thing they wanted was for their courage and honor to remain intact. These warriors chose to believe that they could make a difference in the outcome of their village. As one of the warriors acquires a pot filled with bone broth, he adds some plants and herbs to the broth. Another warrior opens a container filled with dried mushroom caps. These beautiful, shiny, bright red caps with white patches begin to fill the pot. Now these were no ordinary mushroom caps. These were the mushroom caps of Amanita muscaria. These warriors had a specific intention in mind with this Amanita muscaria soup through a process initiated before battle to form a self-induced hysteria. As the warriors consumed the soup, down to the last plant, cap, and drop, they remained eager, excited, and focused on the bloodshed that was on its way. With the thoughts and emotions the Viking warriors had conjured up, in addition to the consumption of the Amanita muscaria soup, this gave rise to the legend of the berserkers. Their skin color became reddened, their faces swelled, teeth were grinding, muscles twitching. The berserkers channeled superhuman strength and most notably, an uncontrollable madness and rage known as the berserker gang. They massively outnumbered, they took off all their clothes and they attacked the enemy naked with swords. And that's where the word berserk came from, the berserkers. The Northmen finally surrounded the village, but before they could mount an attack, the berserkers made their presence known in grand fashion. You see, berserkers weren't only monsters in combat, but they were also masters of making their enemies believe that they were actual beasts. They stripped off their armor and clothing while entering into a screaming frenzy, growling and howling like wolves while biting their shields. In this berserker gang state, legend has it that these warriors could not be burned or bruised as fire nor iron had any significant effect upon them. The berserkers fearlessly rushed into battle as mad as dogs, strong as bears, while killing some of the Northmen with a single blow. Nobody knows for sure the aftermath of the battle that gave rise to the Berserker Gang legend, but one thing is for sure. The Berserkers did make a difference in their village that fateful night. As with most legends, this story has never been confirmed, only reiterated. And while pieces of the story may be fictional, the Berserkers are not fictional. They are historical. It is likely that many details of the Berserkers have been exaggerated with every retelling of their legend. However, the Berserker warriors were very much real. 
There are various theories about what could have caused their berserker gang state, and many of the berserkers' practices still remain a mystery to this day. That's going to wrap up this legend. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on the next Mushroom Time.